What's going on, peoples? What's good? What's good? What's good? We about to get into some business. Um, who's here? Is it T? Uh, T or is it uh, Fulton? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Members only chat. So T, let me work on you. If Tamisha, are you still? Are you here? If this, if you are here, I am going to give you the tips. So first of all, today's topic, today's topic is finding your niche. But I do want to go over some things that we talked about last week. Quality, quantity equals quality, quantity equals quantity. All right. So the more you put out, the better at your craft you get. Um, so don't stop putting content out because the more you put out, the better you can get at putting out content, the better you're going to get at, um, um, editing content, the better you're going to get out putting, putting content together. Ideas just going to come out of left and left, left and right. So put the content out. Um, another thing we did was we talked about last time was call to action. Make sure you do a call to action at all your videos at all the time to uh, bring people in, but don't do it the wrong way. The wrong way to call to action. If you want to know uh, the right way, I'll let you know. But let me first tell you the wrong way to do a call to action. First of all, you cannot say in the beginning of your video, you can, it's up to you. In the beginning of your video, if you say, hey, subscribe to my channel, and you saying that to me, I'm not going to subscribe to your channel. I don't even know you. I'm just a person on YouTube, and I clicked on the video because I saw a thumbnail that looked cool, but I don't know you, so why would I subscribe, right? So it's good to give people what they want first and then ask for a subscription. What's up, Pretty Chocolate Girl? It's just like going to the store and saying, hey, um, going to McDonald's, right? And you saying, and, and the cashier saying, give me your money. I didn't even tell you what I wanted to eat yet. So don't have people try and try to avoid putting like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below if you want. Try to avoid that. Give them some time to start liking you and then ask them to subscribe. Now, I, I'm kind of shying away from doing that in the beginning of my videos too because it's a good thing to reinforce your clientele before you make them press that button. Got it. Yes, it's free. It's free to subscribe. Why people not subscribing? I don't know. All they have to do is press the red button. But you got to give them a reason to, all right? So that was last week's topic. I see 10 of y'all in the building. Um, if you do want to com communicate with me, hey, Pink Motivation, if you do want to communicate with me, unfortunately, this is a members-only chat. In order to be able to communicate, you do have to become a member. But I will be going over things about finding a niche. Now, Pink Motivation, thank you so much for being here. Mr. Fulton Mars, thank you for much, so much for sharing me out. What I would like to know is, Pink Motivation, what is your niche and y'all while y'all are in here please make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button if you like me <laughs> as brother herb nothing no more no less you know what i'm saying i know everybody that's in here has probably been here before but pink motivation could you please tell me what your niche is and how you found your niche uh pretty chocolate girl what is your niche oh i i know what your niche is reborn hi sis tt what's up tt tt i thought you was mad at me tt tt i miss you tt but thank you for coming in tt but um so tt i know your niche are do you can you tell people what your niche is uh pretty chocolate girl what is your niche thank you for using that emoji um and the reason why i'm asking y'all this because that's what today's topic is about it's about finding a niche all right. And why do you need a niche? Does anybody know why you need a niche? Does anybody? OK, don't everybody all at once answer. You need a niche. So no, no, just been busy. I have my business. Everything else is after that. Hey, I got that. I got that reborn. So her her niche is her, ba her babies that look like they're real babies. Her doll babies, <laughs> that is her niche. And that is how her channel stays successful because people like that. Now, why do you need a niche? 
because, y'all, let me tell you why it's so important to have a niche and why it's not good to be all over the place, this place, that place, and because the only way that, okay, YouTube is not a person. YouTube is an algorithm, all right? And the only way that you can get in good with, I do know yours, Pretty Charlotte Girl. Do you plan, Do you care to share yours with everybody? The only way that you are able to get your views to where big YouTubers are is by being in a niche. And the YouTube algorithm will push out your niche to the people that are wanting to view what you are talking about. So if you're not... If you don't have a niche and you're all over the place, YouTube doesn't know where to put those videos. So, got it. Let's say, let's take me for example. I make an air fryer video, and then the next I got a comedy video. One of those is going to take a hit because it's like, where do I put this? Where do I put it? And it's like, uh, I guess I'll just put it right here at the bottom of everybody else who's already doing uh, air fryer videos. And that's what YouTube does when they come to finding a niche. Now, how to find your niche? Um, and you have to ask yourself. You can all be over, you can be all over the place, but do more of your niche. That's what I do. That's what I'm talking about. It's okay to be all. I'm not gonna say all over the place, but not have to focus on one thing. But as long as you do more of what your channel's about then you will see it take off because YouTube is going to start pushing your videos to people that look for what you're talking about. And Pink Motivation, she does motivating and inspiring others. So Pink actually stands for something. Man, I just had the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Pink, let us know what, what it stands for. But um, But yeah, so... So guess who just called me? Candy C. She should be in here right now. But let me see who's at the front door. All right. So positive, insightful, noble kind. That's what I'm talking about. There go pink motivation, y'all. Okay. All right. So. So, um, so, all right, my bad. Candy, Candy C all throwing me off. But anyway, so uh, how to find your niche. Victoria C. Shea. What's up, baby? Miss Pinch him in the booty. <laughs> hey, that's your new name. <laughs> Y'all know I'll be giving people names. But thank you for coming in, Shay. Um, so we're, we're, we're talking about finding a niche. And right now, I'm at the point where how you find your niche. Um, you find your niche by what drives you, all right? What are your, what are your passions? What are you good at? Uh, who and who, ultimately, who do you want to be around? Because if you can talk about motivating people, I'm going to use you, Pink. If, you could, if you're good at talking about motivating people, if you're good at um, uh, uh, making people smile, um, and, and, and you like to be around other people, uh, motivational speakers. So what you want to do to get closer to that next threshold is you want to ride those coattails, all right? And I know I got it. People be like, you know, I just want to be me. But unfortunately, we are not enough in this big old cesspool of people on YouTube. So you have to, you have to, to use what's hot. You have to go with who's popping. You have to know who's hot. So, uh, for example, who is a great motivational speaker? Um, let's go with uh, 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 George Chapman. I think that's his name. Gregory Chapman. I can't think of him. The guy who does the five love languages. Great motivational speaker. He'll he'll turn a, a marriage that's, that's, that's sucking and hurting upside down and, and y'all be loving each other. So I'm, I'm, I'm only going to do this for about 21 more minutes. A quick 30 minute live just to get everybody excited about how to find their niche. But thank you, Candy C, for coming in. 
Um, I told y'all she, she was calling me, trying to get me all discombobulated while I'm on live, but she know we on live right now. You feel me? But yeah, so um, you gonna write? So so if I was if I wanted to be a a a, a marriage counselor, song first class. I'm I'm in a civilian. He gonna have to wait. <laughs> I, I, I reports to no man. <laughs> Sir, first class is better. He better uh, pump his brakes. He work for me now. <laughs> I'm joking. Look, look, because my 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 uh, my actions reflect upon your <laughs> reflect upon you. So I apologize. Let me be. Hey, um, hey, hey, um, excuse me. Hey, Chucky, I'll be. Uh, I'll, I'll get with you in a second. Um, but I gotta talk to the family real quick. I apologize, my brother. So. I know, I know, I know, I know what it's about. I know what it's about. Um, I hope I didn't get you in trouble. <laughs> but anyway, hey, so check this out. If you want to, so if I wanted to, if I wanted to get on a level where uh, Chat, Mr. Chapman, he has all these followers, all these views. I'm going to say, hey, look, here's something that I learned that Mr. Chapman told me because he's so good at. X, Y, Z. And me putting his name in that title is making me... Everybody likes difference of opinions, right? So you're not using them to get to the next level, but you... People that's viewing him, you got the same type of content as him. So why not say, hey, I'm here. I'm doing the same thing that Mr. Chapman is doing. Won't you check me out too? Yeah, I, I, we're not even saying the same thing because I'm putting my own spice on it. You feel me? So put your own spice on it. All right? So what are you good at? If that's what you're good at, stick to it. Your niche is really what's going to get you subscribers. It's really going to help your channel grow to the next level. It's really going to help you reach monetization. All right? I got a couple of more topics, and then we should be off here pretty soon. So... And uh, find out an area where you fit that you can specialize in. So I love making people laugh. <laughs> I love making people laugh. I love having a good time. I don't like a dull moment. I don't like when it's quiet. I don't like none of that. So all of my content, even when I'm cooking, I'm going to try to make you laugh. So if y'all didn't see my last video where I was cooking those air fryer ribs, boy, I tell you them joints came out so good, but I had got... I got I got blasted by like two people because they didn't see me wash my hands on the on the video. But I had washed their hands off the video. I edited it out. Who needs to see? I didn't think nobody cared about that. So she was like, hey, you touched the meat and you touched the air fryer. So that's dirty. I couldn't even pay attention to what was going on. So this video, I made it a point to wash my hands. And boy, when I tell you that joint was so funny, y'all need to watch it. <laughs> Y'all need to watch that video and check out the way I wash my hands in that air fryer rib video if y'all haven't already done so. But that's my plug for the day for my videos, and then we're going to stay to the topic. All right, here's another big thing that I need each and every last one of y'all to do. Stay out of the small YouTuber mindset by obsessing over expectations and not trying to figure out the rules. So we look at these big YouTubers and we're like, well, they can do this and they can do that. And we forget about the rules to the game. All right. They didn't they weren't always able to do what they wanted to do. They had to go through the ropes. They had to study. They had to sit down. They had to put out content. A lot of us are like, hey, I put out a video and it only got 20 views in the first two days. I'm done. Put out another one. Get another 20 views. Put out another one. Get another 20 views. And the next thing you're going to see, you're going to check your first video that had 20 views. It's going to be at 40 views. And you're going to say, okay, cool. Put out another one. Get another 20 views. Man, keep putting out content and keep getting one view. Because guess what? One view going to turn into two. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Y'all, I have not seen under 10,000 views in the last 48 hours on my analytics in the past two weeks. 
uh, July 12th, I was in 1,000, 2,000 views. Before that, I was at 100, 200 views. Put out content. If you want to be successful in YouTube, find your niche and put out that content in that niche. You will grow. All right? Stop, stay out of obsessing over expectations and not trying to figure out the rules. I hope y'all heard that. I hope y'all heard that. Do I have any questions so far? H am I moving too fast? Is everybody with me? You know, I'm here because I need to make sure that we are all on the same page. I I, I don't go I don't go live no more. I'm not gonna be going live. I I probably go live once a month. Starting after at the end of this month, I start school, and then after that, I'm not gonna be going live. But I want. I'm not going to be going live like every week or you know, once a month. I probably go live just to check bases on y'all. I know my views is going to take a hit because I ain't going to be able to focus so much on uploading. But I know right now that I'm starting school. So what do I do? I publish videos to my YouTube and schedule them to come out weeks from now so that I'm not trying to, oh, let me hurry up and post a video because I got one to do. No. I got two videos right now posted for the next two days. And then before the night is out, I'm going to post two more videos for the next. So for a day, I'm going to have a week's worth of work already completed and scheduled, ready to go for the next week. So that when I do get some downtime, I can just go ahead and knock them out. All right? All right. Here's another big thing, y'all. The way you keep people. Minnesota Music. Turn throwers in the building! Woo! Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. I will not let you down, my brother. I will not let you down. Your name goes in the Hall of Fame now. And you will be notified every time I publish anything because we, are, you, your name, link, is everything is going in my description for everything that I do. So trust me, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you so much. And we are talking about finding your niche. All right, so if you have scheduled, Mr. Terrence Trower does outreach to everybody through music of his music and ministry, y'all. Based off his name, you know what he's doing. My man go in, he be on his live stream singing, and people be coming in his live streams singing and just uplifting everybody. Brought tears to my eyes, you know, uh, and, and just because of who he is, he has his niche, and he has to deliver. And that's the next thing. Give people what they signed up for. If you, if you want to be successful on YouTube, you have to get the views. It ain't about subscribers, y'all. So don't say, hey, Brother Herb, uh, I subscribe to you. Can you subscribe to me? No. I'm not looking for a sub for sub. I'm looking for somebody who actually likes me for who I am and my content because that is what's going to make me succeed in the game, in this YouTube game, as this is my job. All right. And what I'm doing is preparing myself to be better at my, my job. That's why I'm starting school at the end of the month. I'm getting my 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 uh, degree in digital cinematography. I want to make sure that I bring y'all pleasing videos to watch when y'all see them. All right. So give the people what they signed up for. Don't tell them to subscribe to your, your channel and you ain't giving them nothing. It's just like you can't go to McDonald's, buy a burger and all you get is the bread. That's not what you pay for. You pay for a burger. Hey, do it. Do it, Tamisha. Do it. It's the best thing, best thing since sliced bread. All right. All right. And we're, we're coming to a close here. Uh, just real quick. How to niche down without losing your voice. Because what I'm telling you right now, y'all, is when you're niching down, you are essentially just giving people a part of you. You're not giving them all of you. On my channel, you get a little bit of all of me. You get cooking, you get funny, you get uh, uh, words of wisdom, you get uh, DIYs, you get you get a little bit. Of, I don't have a niche down channel. I don't. I don't. 
And that's why I'm still at 3,000 subscribers. But as of the beginning of August, I started niching down my topics, my, my videos. And now I'm, I can't go less than 10,000 views in the past 48 hours because I niche down. Now, with that being said, don't lose your voice in niching down. I niche down to these funny videos by Kerwin Claiborne and Tony Baker. And guess what? They're taking off. But you will not, you, it's rare that you're not going to see my introduction. I mean, not my introduction, my intro or my outro. I like to put it at the end of the video because I want people to, I want to give the people what they came there for. And that is Kerwin Claiborne or Tony Baker, right? So I'm going to give them that at the end of the video, hoping that they still watch. If not, okay, oh well. But I'll give them a 10 second introduction, 10 seconds. No longer than 10 seconds. Six seconds if you can, but. Hey, what's up? Hey, yo, what's poppin', YouTube? It's me, your boy, Brother Herb, and I'm back with yet again another video. Here's a funny one by Kerwin Claiborne. Check it out. Boom. Then the video starts, right? But you're not going to forget where that video came from. I'm not saying I'm Kerwin Claiborne. I'm saying I'm Brother Herb. Check out this video by him, and then I'm advertising him the whole way through, right? And then by the time they get to the end of the video, if they stay, which a lot of them do, they see my video, my, my outro, and they're like, oh, you got a beautiful family. So don't let your voice go unheard when you're trying to build your channel and niche down because you got to, sometimes it's cool to ride the coattails. It's like, that's what collaborations are called, all right? You have one-on-one -on -one collaborations and you have uh, ghost collaborations. And when you're ghost collaborating with somebody, then <laughs> you're pretty much using their name to help you be noticeable in the street. I, yeah, I don't like saying that. Why don't I don't like saying it? I don't know, because I don't like people feeling like we're using somebody to get to the next level. At the end of the day, everybody is using somebody to get to the next level, whether it's your friends, your family, or anybody that may, anybody. Because you're not going to go to somebody who's doing worse than you for advice. You're going to go to somebody who's doing better than you for advice. So whether you believe it or not, and y'all about to make me preach, I apologize. Whether you believe it or not, you go, you stick to those who have your answer and you stray away from those who have your problem, right? All right. And as long as you are doing that, you will succeed. You you don't get on you don't get on this platform and look at small YouTubers and be like, I want to be like them. You don't do that. You get on this platform, you see big YouTubers, and you're like, I want to be like them. I want to be like them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't care what other people have to say. I really don't. The only thing that bothers me, y'all, and this is because I'm like, yo, this is this is good content. You know what I'm saying? Why are people removing my videos? That's the only thing that bothers me. Because it really hurts my views when my videos get removed. But you know what? I'm just going to come back stronger and I'm going to come back harder. And you, you, you remove one of my videos, I'm going to put up two more. <laughs> Cause I always got one in the back ready to go. You feel me? But chess, man, stay away from those who have your problem and stick to those who have your answer. You will always succeed. All right. You're not going. You didn't get on YouTube following a small YouTuber, and you're like, oh man, I want to be just like that small YouTuber. You got on YouTube because you seen somebody who made a difference on this panel, on this platform. Excuse me. And you want, you feel like you have something you can provide to the group as well. Y'all, if y'all want to, uh, thank y'all for coming in and joining me on this, on this rant of about how to niche down your channel. We went over a few topics. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them in the comment section below. I will stop what I'm doing to answer your questions. However, this is a members only chat. So if you're not a member going and join, it's only $1.99 to join. You can cancel anytime. I'm not going to hold you. But trust and believe, I will be doing videos like this for the future as well so don't miss out on any of this great content we just had a new family member join the brother herb network welcome minister Terrence trower appreciate it mr music mr minister of music
Terrence Trower. And now I'm Cottonmouth. Hey, Christina's world. Hi, baby girl. That is my daughter, y'all. If y'all don't have her, I don't even know how she's able to talk because she's not a member. But maybe because she a mod. <laughs> but yeah, so um, ride those coattails. Is but don't when you if you if you gonna ride the coattails. Somebody was like, uh, "Why would I watch the video?" I, I, it was one video I posted last week. And I said, don't skip the ads and watch the full video. And they're like, well, why would I watch the video if you're not you're not him? I'm like, okay, you're right. I'm not him. And I never claimed to be him. However, I am promoting his video and I'm promoting his craft by doing that. And I never once said in the introduction, I said, hey, yo, what's popping this brother? Herb. Never have I ever thought or try to be him. So don't lose your voice when you're riding when you're riding the wave, okay? Cuz you have to ride the wave. If you don't ride the wave, trust me, believe it's going to take a long time. And the one number one thing about uh, uh YouTube is patience, right? But there's got to be some fruit for for your work. It's got to be some reward for your work. If you're not getting rewarded for your work, it's almost like, why am I doing this? You know, you, you kind of slack off. So me getting rewarded makes me want to take off time of my day while my kids downstairs playing around, doing whatever, just so I can make sure I reinforce what I've learned so that every, all of my family members, members can know what I've learned. Now, this information is actually coming to y'all from a video I watched today. And, and the reason why I say it's not all, it's, it's in my words. Granted, because I've been through these questions like, what is a niche? Like, how do I figure it out? And the longer you go, the more you figure it out, the more things start to make sense. And, and then, you know, I was like, you know what? He's right. Let me write that down. And then I'm like, oh, he's right. Bruh, when I tell you, my man said, the way you niche down without losing your sound is you package the topic, you title your topic, and your thumbnail, you keep those the same. So, for example, I'm going to use me for example. I packaged mine with Kerwin Claiborne, Tony Baker. I titled mine, new, best of, Tony Baker, Kerwin, whoever it is I'm, I'm promoting that day. And then the thumbnail is always the same. I always use TubeBuddy thumbnail creator for those videos because I'm like, I'm not about to spend a whole lot of time on their content, especially when it comes down to the thumbnail. And it seems like people are more receptive to when I use TubeBuddy thumbnail creator as opposed to my own creator. So, he, she said, don't block the win on Brother Herb. Go and get that membership. Appreciate you. So, um, so, um, so people have been receiving that, right? But the way, uh, so then you deliver on that, you deliver on what you, you deliver on what you promise, right? It's almost like clickbait, but it's not because you're giving them what you promise, right? So it's, hey, it's Tony Baker, it's Kerwin Claiborne, it's a thumbnail, and you give them that. But in there, you also give them a little bit of your personality. So then they're like, oh, yeah, I see Brother Herb. All right, that's what's up. Am I good? I'm starting to see. Uh, I'm, 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 am I? Am I buffering? Can y'all y'all see me? And then my peoples went down. Am I? Is everything up on up? Up and up? Let me know. Oh, Giselle, dope. What's good? Thank you for coming in and thank you for that super duper duper chat. Did you, did, were you trying to join the membership? Because I know the 199, you could, that could have went towards the membership. But yes, if you do want to speak and you don't want to join the membership, you can speak. You have to do it through Super Chat though. But I appreciate that super duper duper chat. Thank you for coming in. We're talking about finding your niche. If you have not found your niche, thank you. Thank you for that. I, I see I'm good now. All right. So the last thing I was talking about is, is putting up. Everything together the same way. So right now I'm using uh, Kerwin Claiborne, Tony Baker's, 
and I'm packaging it up the same way, but I'm putting my voice in there so I don't get lost in the content. All right. So that's what you should do. Make sure that you are heard because people know they come in my contents. Hey, brother Herb, thank you for giving me that laugh. I never seen this. I never, you know, and they're like, oh, thank you so much. You know, I like the way you put that together because it's not, I'm not the only one doing this. Everybody's on the platform doing this. So why ain't you doing it? But anyway, I'm not the only one doing this. Everybody's doing it and they like the way I put it together. So it's like, oh, let me haul that brother Herb because I like that we put it together. And then a lot of people like my introduction. Hey, yo, what's popping? YouTube. They love the energy. So it's like I'm working my way into these big crowds and trying to stand out. So stay. Stand out, y'all. Now, I'm about to end this live, but I do want to leave y'all th with this. Can you afford your niche? Can you afford your niche? A lot of people don't think about it. A lot of people are like, hey, I want to be a mukbanger. I want to be a seafood mukbanger. I want to be a tech, tech, tech reviewer. I want to be an unboxer. I want to be a... Uh, can you afford your niche? Now, that is something very, very, very important. You have to be able to afford your niche. You cannot pick a niche that you can't afford because you won't have no content to provide. Yeah, I couldn't be no daggone mukbanger. As much as I love seafood and, and, and cream king crabs, I can't afford to do that. I cannot and I will not. Because how much is a king that daggone one cream king crab leg in my area is $23.99 a pound. And those king crab legs are about two pounds. Okay. I can't afford that. So stay, stay, pick a niche that you are good at, that you can talk about, and that you can afford. Because if you can't afford your niche. It's going to die because you have, you're not going to have content to put out about it. I wanted I wanted to have a tech review. Check. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. So um, niche down, step up your game, and stand out. And that's what I'm going to leave y'all with. Niche down, step it up, and stand out. Niche down, step it up, and stand out. And when you stand out, y'all, you're going to keep people Talking about you. Stay in people's mouths by niching down, stepping it up, and standing out. Make your quality undeniable. Make your quantity so much that you're unavoidable. And make your videos compelling and that people want you to come back. Okay? All right, so that's it, y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you for your super duper duper chats. If you're not a member, make sure you join and have a great, great day. Love you.